Hello, ladies and gents. In my previous video of this saga, I explained I had proof of what I said to be true. This video is that proof. Proof that my side of the story is legit, and that Von Quad lied and scammed me out of Quad Talk, and then lied to the community about what happened to try to cover up his dirty deeds. Now, I'm not doing this to get Quad Talk back. I'm not doing this even for revenge. I'm doing this to retain my reputation with fact and truth. And secondly, the community deserves to know what side of the story is true and which one of us was willing to boldface lie to the community. So let's get to it. Here are two clips from Von Quad telling the community that he never offered me legal part of Quad Talk. We did talk about it, but we never moved forward on that. And that was because I never fully intended to give half of my company away to anybody. My intention was to keep the Quad Talk podcast moving forward as a sole proprietorship. It's always been my intention, and I have not changed my mind in that at all. So there it is. That's how I intended it to be. Now here is audio of Von Quad just four weeks ago offering me legal part of Quad Talk. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? With a world record, get her to witness, okay? Take, take, take advantage of it, Bob. I don't want you to feel like you don't own part of Quad Talk or you're going to put all this work in for me. So we got to figure out a way to fix that. we got to figure out a way that it's legit, so that, because nobody wants to stand up on the chip in the sand with the rug, with the rug that could be pulled up on underneath them. I certainly wouldn't want to. That's for fucking sure. I don't, so we gotta figure that out too, okay? That's gonna, that's me saying, let's do this. Legally, however we want it, we gotta figure out a way to do it. Do your research or however, you know, it's just basically structure or a little contract saying blah, 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 you can't, you know, and, you know, it just has to be legit to where, you know, it means both of us in the future. Is that cool? Yeah. So that's positive, right? Yeah. That's me saying fuck it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we got a witness, right? So if be no, hey, Trish, she never said that, okay? So a few things here. He clearly offers me a legal part of Quad Talk, but more important to me is that he says we're on record and, quit and Kidder is a witness. And at the end, he says, uh, Tra you can never say Trace never said that. The reason why he said these things is because since day one, he has flip-flopped on giving me what he offered me. And now he's on record, we record these conversations and Kidder was there to finally now say, okay, Brandon, I'm on record saying I'm going to give you what I said I'm going to give you. We're going to fucking do it. That's why he's saying, and that's why he has to emphasize those things. Now, this is important to me because from his angle, I'm just some gold digger trying to slowly swindle him out of quad talk, when in reality, I'm just trying to get the compensation that he offered me from the beginning. Moving on, here is Von Quad trying to explain how I pushed him out of Tech Bench episodes. Telling, you know, telling me, telling, telling me that, hey, listen, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put you in, but you know, not all the time because we're doing our own thing and we, we, you know, and you're not relevant and blah, 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 blah. Listen to the clip again and pay attention how hard it is for him even just to get this sentence out. Then after that, listen to the recording from four weeks ago of him saying the opposite. Telling, you know, telling me, telling, telling me that, hey, listen, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put you in, but you know, not all the time because we're doing our own thing, and we, we, you know, and, and you're not relevant, and blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't have. To, here we go again. Here I'll say it again for this time it's on record. I don't have to be on every fucking episode of of that. I mean, so if you guys are writing it, you guys are coming up with the formula, you know, well, let me know. I'll say it again, but this time it's on the record. He knew he was not going to be on every single Tech Bench episode, and he knew that before the even first episode. Here's another clip from the same conversation explaining the same thing. I just wanted to be a part of it, though. I mean, and, to and say, and hey. And then why did you agree to even that one point off the Like, hey, I don't really have to be on every single show. I don't get it. I, I don't know. 
I, if I, I don't understand. This next and last clip from Von Quad is similar to the last one, but there's some timeline items that are worth pointing out. There's only one problem. Uh, about the second episode, uh, the legit flying FPV pilot number one didn't really want the non-legit, non-flying FPV pilot on the show most of the time, just occasionally. Now I'm going to play the clip from four weeks ago, but I'm going to preface it a little bit. At the point of this conversation, there was four episodes of TechBench. And if Von Quad didn't cancel, he would have been on episode one, two, and three of TechBench. Episode four of TechBench was the first episode he was not scheduled to be on. Now he claims that we or me didn't want him to be on episode two and three, but in reality, he was scheduled to be on two and three, but canceled. And here is the audio to prove it. And the last two shows before the Manic Sun show, you were scheduled to be on there and couldn't be on there. Oh, oh there was a reason for that. Uh, so we're not yeah. sending you out. You can't, you can't say you're, you're all bored for two shows you couldn't be on, and then, and then bitch and moan about the one that you can't be on. Now you're available. But the two shows before that, you were scheduled to be on. And then the show before that, the opening show, you were on. So the first three shows of Quad Talk, you were technically supposed to be on, except for the Maddie Central. And I told you, it was completely my bad. I dropped the ball. I was just going to tell you Monday about this. And it's, it's more of a thing just having too many people on the show. What, what do you, why do you think uh, I'm having, I have these feelings? What do you think? Because Quad Talk is a way better show. Uh, no, because Tech Bench is a way better show than Quad Talk. That's why I think it is. Okay. Now, you want to know the real reason? Number one? Okay. Tech Bench is better than Quad Talk. In closing, the audio shows Von Quad lied to me, stole from me, and then lied to the community about me to cover it up and reboot Quad Talk. I worked my ass off for a year. I worked harder than anyone on Quad Talk to build the brand and create a great show just to get scammed and my name trashed by someone that's too lazy to learn to fly. The audio truth is now out there. And if you are an individual that likes truth and justice, I recommend speaking your mind to anyone supporting Quad Talk or Von Quad. As it is clear from the audio evidence, he is a liar, a thief, and doesn't deserve the support of the community that he lied to for money. Moving forward, Kidder and I are working our buns off and are super excited to bring a new show to the community. Just give us about two weeks and we'll be back on the air. And until then, look forward to updates along the way. And one more thing, to make sure I didn't quote anyone out of context, the full recording from four weeks prior will also be uploaded with timestamps to help everyone navigate. Have fun.